Squid up? No! Squid neutral! Did you, did you really click on this video? Did you even read the title? Is there something that you need to tell me? Okay, okay. I'll teach you. I got you, fam. I'm the best role model in this generation. I teach kids how to steal your roommate's food, okay? I, I teach you how to become a, a, a certified basement toilet, okay? I teach you many things in life, and this is my next barnacle scum guide. You can become one, okay? And to keep with barnacle scum guide traditions, I'm just gonna... Uh, this is unscripted. I'm going unscripted, okay? All right, this is straight from the heart. First, what I want you to do, what I need you to do, is crawl out of that hell hole that I put you in before and come learn a new tech, a new tactic in life, okay? All right, I, I, you're gonna need it. Now, this guide applies to high school and college, but college is, is way easier, but high school is still doable. I, I've done it. I've done it for many, many years. I'm the master, okay? You're coming to learn from me. You're watching this video because I am the master. So get on your knees and I got you, okay? Now, let me give you a warning first. Using this guide will make you very unattractive. So if you're looking for love, look somewhere outside of the classroom, okay? This is the difference between college and high school. In, in high school, you got a reputation, you know, you got to maintain. In college, nobody gives a squid, okay? You, you, everyone's doing their own thing. It, it's a lot easier, okay? But if you already established yourself as a loser, well, congrats. It's a, this guide is meant for you. I got you. Question, why does one become a professional sleeper in class? Maybe. You're a night person. You're nocturnal. Maybe you don't want to abide by the rules of all these morning people normies, okay? Maybe you play Maple Story all night, okay? You're, you're trying to do that one last quest, and then your, your mom has to come down. She's like, it's time to go to bed to school tomorrow. And you're, and you're like, give me five more minutes. And then she's like, no, no, no. And then you're like, okay, okay, I'm going. And then you, you pretend that you're going, but you're not. You're, you pretend you're going to sleep, but you, you, you're still on the computer for like another two hours, okay? You're a koala, a woke koala. That's right, you need, you need your third eye to tell your brain when to wake up at the most pivotal moment. Okay, that's, that'd be like when teachers are asking questions. Titus, wake up. I wasn't sleeping. I was just resting my eyes. They're passing papers, going over homework. Only the key event. The rest is not important. The rest is just filler. Like most professional people, it takes a long time to master. So the earlier you start your training, the easier it becomes. You learn to wake up your body like... That, that was me snapping. It's the best I can do. You, you also learn to control your snoring and even your sleeping posture. Years of training, my friends. Basically, you're half asleep. Woke koala. Okay, first things first. You wanna find your seating that, that's like in a blind spot, okay? You, you don't wanna sit in the back, not all the way in the back because that's a little bit too obvious, but you wanna sit, you know, in the back, okay? You gotta set yourself in an angle. So the teacher can't see you. You gotta be behind all the tall people that you can muster. Okay, taller the better, and the bigger the head the better, okay? The, the big old head's gonna block their vision. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because in the end, they're just gonna find out anyways. But this helps set the tone for your aura, and we're gonna go over aura later, okay? But Titus, won't this make my grades go down? I mean, frankly, if you're following this guide, seriously, that just means you, you probably don't have the best grades, okay? But! Technically, yes, your grades will go down at the beginning, but as you start to train, obviously you're going to struggle, but years of practicing being a woke koala, you're absorbing only the important information that you need. You basically have to train your spidey senses. I was a C average man in high school, sleeping in class, being invisible to everyone around me. But what if I told you that I actually got on the Dean's list? on my senior year of college. Which, by the way, I slept 80% of my classes away that semester. My mind was 
kapoozled. Like, how? How? Well, here's how it works. 90% of the time, teachers are only going over what's on the pamphlet, the piece of paper, or the book. Most of which usually already provides a guide on how to do that certain section anyways. This is how teachers learn how to bull squid their way through teaching a class and getting their pay. They learn how to extend teaching a solution into a whole two hour period when you can just go home and learn it in like 20 minutes. From what I witnessed, they have their own barnacle scum guide that they're following. You think this guide is scummy, my friends? Nah, fam. Everyone follows a barnacle scum guide, even teachers. We are all barnacle scum. A great example of this tactic is when they, they play movies to buy themselves time. You know, they just pop in one of those boring movies. <sighs> I'm gone. After you realize this, all you really need to do is just do your homework and study a couple of days before the test. Okay, you can sleep all you want. Internet, my friend. This is not a guide about how to flunk out of school. This is a guide of how to sleep in front of your teacher. That's all. That's all. It's simple. It's simple. Okay. Get good grades. It's possible. But if they have a participation grade, then they are scum and you are doomed. A moment of silence, please, for that one barnacle in that one class. Thank you. I kid, I kid. There's a way to combat this. So basically, you want to try to answer at least one question during that class. Just, just be nice about it. And if you're funny, it's always a bonus. But, 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 but don't be too funny because you don't want to be the class clown because that's a lot of work. Okay. You, you, you want to be, you want to be, uh, sleeping. Okay. Now this brings in the discussion about aura. Aura? What do you mean by that? always want to present yourself in a squid neutral state when you are not seated in your class. Never go out of your way to make yourself enthusiastic, but also don't deny a confrontation when it comes to you. Present yourself like as if the teacher saw you walk in and they would nod their head and say, Yep, I totally understand. I feel you. This will sometimes get teachers off your back. If you're lucky, they'll understand enough to be cool with you. With a woke third eye! Now, remember when I said it was only 80% of the classes that I said I've slept through? Well, that's because there's some butt hurt try hard teachers out there that get totally offended by your existence because they believe that you are disrespecting them by making it seem like the class is boring, but in reality, you're just super tired and their voices make you want to go to sleep. These are the teachers that make you feel like you want to die every class. You dread setting foot in their class. You try full force on trying to keep yourself awake and you are in a constant battle of keeping your eyes open. The moment you close your eyes for even a couple of seconds, the next time you open them up, you'll see them unleashing their death glare on you. They're like, mm, I hate this kid. Mm, this kid, how dare he disrespect me? How dare he? My classroom is fun and enjoyable. How could he do this to me? And, and then they'll send you out of the hallway. They, they start screaming at your face like an inch towards your face. They're like, oh, how dare you fall asleep during that movie? That movie was good. <laughs> I had another teacher that, that would be passive aggressive. He'd be like, he'd go to me and be like, hey, you, uh, you going to the cafeteria? You, you, you going to get some coffee? <laughs> I know what you I know what you're trying to say. Don't just say it. Just say it. Yeah, there was once an old man teacher who was just playing movies like most of the class. He would leave the class. He wasn't even teaching. He would just leave for like 40 minutes and he just puts on that movie and forces everyone to watch it, right? And uh, that was one of my favorite ecology classes because I was like, oh, time to time to take a nap. <sighs> yeah, when I said was was my favorite ecology class because he died in the middle of the semester and then his wife took over and lo and behold my sleeping days were over but but my my condolences to your husband okay but but um um can i 
Can you take the D back? Okay. Super unfair. The only way to stay awake is just to have a smoking hot teacher, of course. <coughs> Basically, it's going to be your least favorite class. It's going to suck. And you just have to deal with it. <laughs> Try hards. Now, generally, you're being a woke koala all by yourself because you probably are a big loser with no friends. But if you happen to have a good friend in one of your classes, then you can use them as an advantage. They can wake you up when your third eye doesn't pick up on the danger. They can remind you on the notes. They can let you copy homework, my personal favorite, or remind you of the due dates that are coming. A good friend will let you use them so you can sleep and they can be a lookout. Use them. Do it. Light Yaga me that squid. Okay, congratulations. You are now a barnacle that spews out lava. Why lava, you ask? That's because you're in hell, my friend. If you have comboed this with my other guides, then that just means you can neither go to heaven nor hell. Kira Kuala. Okay. Let's squid neutral. How dare you teach this to my kid? Lady, it's just a joke. I'm mostly just talking about myself. Hopefully you're smart enough to, <laughs> you know, not actually follow my guide. What I hope for is just for people to kind of relate. Be like, oh, yeah, I, I fell in sleep in class. This teacher screamed at me. You know, that'd be great. That's all I want. Okay. Okay. It's not serious. Okay. Calm, calm down. Calm down, my friend. Sadly, I'm probably fell asleep in most classes than the average human, okay? I, I'd say I'm an expert. High school doesn't really teach you, you know, to use a certain side of your brain. Like, maybe you want to be a creative. Like, I spent most of my time just daydreaming, okay? I just, <laughs> just daydreaming about, you know, not doing tests and quizzes and, and working as a doctor, you know? I, I just didn't care. I just, you know? Uh, but, oh yeah, the Titus, you went to art college. Uh, why did you sleep in most of the classes? Well, I slept in most of the classes that had to do with academics. I didn't really sleep through the, the art part of the uh, college. They, you had to do a lot of math, a lot of science, a lot of uh, writing. And I was just like, man, this ain't art, man. A lot of art history, which is the worst. But but yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't put art college on a pedestal, okay? I'll, I'll get to a video eventually about it. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons, okay? I only talk about it so much it's because it's been a big chapter of my life. That's all. You know, four years is a, it's a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Also, please, just a quick shout out to Patreon for helping me, uh, just, you know, funds and stuff. If you want to support me, that'd be great. Uh, just throw a couple dollars, maybe 10, you know, get, get in the Discord and make it fun, fun, fun. And looking forward to the weekend. Thank you. I'll see you later. You barnacle scum. Dog, please. Dog, go, please. Go away. Okay, answer honestly. How often would you say?
that you saw me sleeping in class. That I saw you sleeping when? That how often would you say that I would be sleeping in class during college? I was sleeping in class. Damn, uh, a lot, <laughs> like every class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you took you took at least like a five minute nap every class. <laughs> 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 Okay. Especially like our history class. I could totally see you pass out in the back.